cold. How long do you reckon before they come for us? Depends on how off course we were blown by the storm. However, it appears the transponder guiding our welcoming party to this location was lost in the crash. Without that, our odds of survival are remote. I suggest we find it. Stay here while I track it down. I don't think we're alone out here. Thanks for the save. I owe you one. Oui, oui. Le roi, c'est moi. <laughs> Time enough for that later. Head back to the supply drop and try not to get... Kovac, Dr. Kendrick Kovac. Don't call me Kenny. Hey, the name's Hurtings. Friend of Hurtings the Roach. So, you're a pack of long-range fire, are you? Not on me. But somewhere in that ship, I got a 30 out 6 old family heirloom. No idea where it's packed. Got my pistol, though. Good enough. Give me a second. 
I'm going to retire to the relative safety of the interior. Good luck up here. Thanks, boss. I know what I'm doing here. Do it yourself. Huh. Okay, you're all set. Heads up, we got incoming.
straight. Now hold on. Roche, you take the high road while I round the bend. Aye, 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 Florida. And that was my introduction to EDM-3. Baptism by fire. The rest of the trip to base camp was uneventful, but calm didn't last for long. Look, you weren't her only friend on this base. We all miss Diaz. But I tried to warn you, Nevik would never use that as an excuse until they started seeing results. It's not about Jeanette, you know it's not. Oh, so you're still blaming me, though. Oh, I never said that. You didn't have to, you just checked out. They're looking for something that doesn't exist. I'm directing my efforts where the science leads. That used to matter to you. It still does, Bonnie, but this isn't my call. Nevik is footing the bill for this operation. They insisted. And that's it. Not a peep from you. Not a... <laughs> it's only because of me that you still even have a job here. Oh, yes, a job answering to... Him. Uh, Dr. Kovach, I see you made it in one piece. Yes, it's been an eventful morning. Phil Braddock, I presume? Mm -hmm. Dr. Roman? In some time. Feels like yesterday, Kenny. You'll excuse me. Okay. And you must be Jim Payton. Here, you really stepped up out there. You must have a million questions. I uh, hope you don't mind being thrown into the deep end. Uh, sir, I'm here to work. All I need to know is how a man can earn some credits around here. <laughs> Thermal energy. That's the name of the game. Acred blood. It's to tell you, boss, we just spilled gallons of the stuff. Oh, it's well more than that. Flows through everything I need to get in three. Creatures, tectonics, all the way down to the core. That's what makes life possible in a climate like this. No other substance like it in the universe. And Nevik believes this can solve the energy crisis on Earth. Well, I believe it can. We're here to study it. Find a way to make it viable, cost-effective for harvest and export. We are leaving no angle unexplored. Very good. Science is always best, without boundaries. Big man, I've got a lot of contracts. It'll keep you busy. Construction repairs on the base, but uh, if you want to go home a rich man, you'll take on that hazard pay. Keep us supplied with this stuff. Yes, sir. Just point me to my rig. Peyton, I can't recommend strongly enough that you visit the Quartermaster and get yourself a good hunting knife. You've seen how up close and personal the acrid can get. But first you want to head down to the service pit and inquire with our lead tech, Gale, as to the status of your rig. Welcome aboard, Jim. Uh, Doctor, if you'll stay and chat. Sorry you had to see that. You know Bonnie can have a flair for the dramatic. Is that what that was? I assumed it was sarcasm. Usually she just yells at me. Yeah, well, circumstances are a little different now. Attention! The water pipes in East Block will be frozen over for at least the next two hours. Turn off all and keep them running until the problem is solved. EDN3, Jim. The E stands for extreme. Still working on the rest. That's great, kid. Point me in the direction of your boss. 
Oh, Mr. Braddock? I'd think you'd have seen him already, but... Yeah. No, I mean the lead tech for this bay. I think they said her name was Gail. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. That's kind of me. I know, I know. I hear it all the time. Girl's name. Shouldn't I be off looking for a date for junior prom? Dude, I understand you're concerned. But don't worry about a thing. I am totally getting college credit for this gig. I'm kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. Not in the mood. I read you. Listen, kid. Gail. How about we do the get to know you while we work on putting my rig together? Ooh, ooh, hey, hey. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. It was shipped ahead in pieces. <laughs> now that I'm here, we can build it. Um, the thing is, I kind of put it together last week. Come again. It's a nice solid rig you got. Pretty intuitive design. It was no trouble. I had fun with it, really. All the diagnostics checked out. In fact, I just got done with the finishing touches. What finishing touches? Threw on some spring-loaded Kerner retractors. Jeanette said they always came in handy when the heat was on, which happens more often than you'd think on an ice planet. Get it? Ice planet? Because the heat... Kid, went... listen to me and listen close. I got three things in the world. My wife, my son, and this rig. Guess which one I'm counting on to take care of the other two? You follow? That is my whole nest egg. I built it myself. I know every gear, every circuit, and I can't have her breaking down on me because some intern needed to show off. Can I just say two quick things? Please. Okay, first, you can't really say in the world anymore because you're on another planet. Sorry, just pet peeve. And? And secondly, okay, it's your show, Jim. I'm just here to help out. Give it a test drive whenever you feel like it, and if it ain't ship shape, break it all down by morning. Deal? I promise you won't be sorry. Let go of my hand. Okay. Your rig's up in your bay. I'll meet you up there whenever you wander up. Take your time. Fine spirit of artistic creation. I was at breakfast and Colbeck had come up with these griddle cakes made out of vital wheat gluten or something, and it got me thinking about the corn my I heard the whole hangar John about how we were getting a fresh pair of faces around here. I'm the quartermaster, name's Bowers, but most people call me Birdie. You make an honest dollar, you come spend it here, eh? Alright, pal, take your time eyeballing the wares. I'll stay out of your hair. Quality hunting knife. Top of the line for up-close protection. Comes with a lifetime guarantee and unlimited free sharpening. Not that you'll need it. Now that's a sweet one. Pump action, nine shot capacity. Synthetic stock and full. Thanks, Jim. You keep fighting the good fight. Yeah, nice meeting you, Birdie. Thanks. 
Didn't need this, though. Oh, you ready to try this? Dry treated hypertensile kern retractors. I like to call it the Cockpit Express. You got one on the front, one on the back. You just clip in, give the line a tug, shoop! And by shoop, you mean launch myself up at solid metal from 10 meters down and hope I don't break my neck? As an alternative to being eaten? Yeah. Chief, Jim Payton here. You copy? Payton, is your rig online already? Yeah, looks like the kid here might know his stuff, but I'll know for sure after I take her out for a spin. That French fella still not back? Yes, I'm afraid he hasn't been responding to radio calls. Well, why don't I go have a look for him? I know where we parted ways, and he did save our bus just a little. Say no more, Payton. That's the first assignment. Good luck. This is Peyton. You still read me? Peyton, Corona's actual. Copy you loud and clear. Any sign of LaRoche? Well, I found his rig back at, let's see, White Canyon Junction. 
Looks pretty beat up, but no trace of the man himself. Thanks for the update. Just keep looking. I know he's out there somewhere. Braddock out. Hello? 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 LaRoche! LaRoche! La you out here? You out here? You out here? You out here? Over here! Over here! C'est des conneries. I had that crab out of its shell and ready to dip in butter. Then one foot sleeps over the ledge and my whole rig is on her back. Did you see what he did to her? Nothing that can't be fixed. You're lucky you got out with all your limbs. Bah! Keep your perspective to yourself, rookie. Fight a few giant crab monsters of your own, then speak to me of luck. Fair enough. Guess we're even. survive. Then we keep score. Well, this is Baden. I found your Frenchman. He's at a fueling depot near Watkins Pass. Oh, that's a relief. Sending out a rescue team now. Good work, Baden. You should find your account credited with a search and rescue bonus. Uh, hold on. Baden, you see here Watkins Pass? Your predecessor, Diaz, set up a thermal post nearby. It's been sitting full, wasting tea energy since she disappeared. Locate the post and tap it before you return. Just be careful. Acrid like the nest are on untended thermal posts. Good luck.
wall near Dawson's cutoff when I saw it. Well, at first, I thought it was a trick of the light, but there was no mistake. I called for Lotus, and they confirmed what I already knew. Nobody was out here with me. <laughs> the planet thinks I'm paranoid, but I know that should do it. what I saw. We're not alone here. Diaz out.
for a glass storm incoming from blind sector. We've lost the Zone 5 tension leg. Repeat, Zone 5 mooring is gone. Evacuate all Zone 5 pods. Repeat, evacuate Zone 5 pods immediately. We're clear, Corona side. Tension line secure and awaiting mooring stabilization on your end, Corona factual. Roger, rig is on approach. Baton, quickly, use your rig's claw arm to grab and tighten all three of the moorings. Yeah, yeah, kid. You done good. 